So here we are at Sunlock Stadium in Miami. Al Golden and his Miami Hurricanes looking to rebound after being routed by Kansas State. The Thune Cookman and Miami today on ESPN. Drew Felios, Doug Graber. Team loss last week is Philip Dorsett and Duke Johnson are back to receive it. Sven Hurd will kick it off for Bethune Cookman. And we are underway as Duke Johnson will watch the ball sail out of bounds. And that'll be an early flag so far, but really has got to take the reins of this Hurricanes offense. We'll see if he can do that here this afternoon. Back to throw on first down and down the field, a wide open Duke Johnson as he raced past the running back and falls into the freshman doing great things as this along the left side mike james takes the carry across midfield and he picks up a miami first down the free safety has been playing well as of late another completion this to the 42 yard line philip dorsett makes the catch so miami on the move second down and two mike james is the running back and they'll give it to him and he runs into a wall Nice play made by number 50. LeBrandon Richardson has been in Now a third down and four coming up. Moore's to throw. And he throws it over the middle and it's knocked away. Well played by Nick Addison, the freshman out of Tampa, making it for Miami. And receiving it for the Wildcats is number 19, Courtney Keith. High kick. And down at the one-yard line, it will be... Down that the one, but a flag is down, and this could be Miami football. There could have been a collision at midfield. All the stops. Maurice Higgins is the fullback. He lines up behind Stephen Morris. First down from the 39 for Miami. Play fake. Morris to throw. Under pressure, steps up and throws it low. All kids. And they get it to Duke Johnson. His first touch of the game, the sensational. Freshman running back takes it down to the 33-yard line. Six up seven. The quarterback. None of them come from the sideline or the box in this office. Five wide receivers on the field now. Third down and nine out of the shotgun. Morris steps up, and it's incomplete. Football. Third week rush was on. of the season. This one away. A high kick takes a bounce at the six. And a Bethune Cookman bounced down. Debut as a freshman, gained more than 100 yards. That's the first team to do it since 1999. That dates back to Clinton Porter. Back up to you guys. They set up the screen on first down. Isidore Jackson all the way up to the 39 yard. That was Levon McCoy, 370 pounds is McCoy. Anthony Ciccolo applying the pressure that time. Second down and 10. Wilson. Trying to get out of trouble, and he's going to lose a couple. Darius Smith, the big defensive tackle, wrestled him down. Third down and 12. Wilson looks, throws, and it's incomplete. Was intended for his favorite receiver, Eddie Poole, but left him a little bit to the And Philip Dorsett back to receive at the 22-yard line. A high kick. Dorsett fields it. Got some room along that left side. Knocked out of bounds at the 34. Good tenth in the ACC. Duke Johnson is in the game at running back. And here he is. Johnson, big game. All the way to the 48-yard line. Let's send it to Tiffany Green with an injury update. Instead, Paul Kelly will take over the long snapper duties. And the Miami Hurricanes cannot afford any more injuries. As now he is the fourth game to go down with one. five, just a sophomore. Here's Duke Johnson. Look at the moves and the speed. All the way up to the 44-yard line. Another impressive run. Portis in your second game. That's a lot of pressure, but take a look at the young man right here. Pretty well blocked up front. But, uh, boy, he, he can flat make you miss in space. He's strong. He runs low. He's tough. Uh, he's got great eyes as well. Here's wow. Mike James. Wow. That's the one-two punch that Miami is sporting at running back. First there's Johnson, then there's Mike James. Five, Walford. And back to throw is Morris. In trouble. He steps up with some room along that right side and picks up six yards before he gets out of bounds at the 31. The offense, Maurice Higgins, number 33, in the game. And they flip it to Dorsett. Philip Dorsett isn't going to get much. Well played 
by this Bethune defense, 55, Anthony Woodard there to make the stop. Johnson hesitates a little bit, and then that Bethune defense corrals him at the 30, and I don't think this is enough for a first down. Decision time for Al Golden and Miami. From the 35, Duke Johnson now is lined up as a wide receiver. Morris, incomplete. He was looking for Philip Dorsett, but it was well defended. So first down for Bethune. From the 34, Isidore Jackson lining up right next to Wilson. They'll hand him the football, and Isidore gets it near the 40-yard line. This is long. Rodney Scott now in the game, the second running back alongside Isidore Jackson, and they give it to Scott. The transfer from Ole Miss is not going to get anywhere. Denzel Perryman, the sophomore middle linebacker, ran him down in the backfield. Third down and six. Wilson over the middle as an open man, and this is going to be stopped shy of the first down. Patrick Harris could not stretch out to the marker. This team is in great shape. So there's Dorsett waiting for it. Nice kick. He'll come up and field it at the 32. Well, look, Dorsett. The ball's loose. Bethune Cookman has recovered. That's number 45 with it. Martin Embry the third, and he's inside the 20-yard line. The Wildcats are in business. Right there, you take a look at Martin Embry the third. A huge play for him. As the Wildcats go back to the ground, Isidore Jackson picks up maybe two yards. For Bethune Cookman, that can worry you down. Four wide receivers now on the field. They'll run it again. Jackson. Some tough yardage. He's dragging tacklers down to the 12. Third down. Wilson. Option. The pitch to Jackson. Isidore Jackson takes a shot. As he got to the 10-yard line, Denzel Perriman once again lowered the bones. You know, that number 52 at middle backer, uh, of course, you know, there's a little history here with another 52 that played middle back there for the Hurricanes, of course, huh. Ray Lewis. But uh, Perriman is definitely the leader of this defense. It is a first down at the 10-yard line. Jackson one more time. Gets it to the sixth. Sandball, the sports information director, made that clear. That's the way that this team is thinking. Saw the red zone percentage for the Wildcats. They go right up the middle. And now close to the goal line. Wow. The goal. Lots of shifting with the Wildcats. And they'll turn, hand it to Jackson. Isidore Jackson. Touchdown. It was a huge one right off the bat. And Hurd on for the extra point. And it's up and good. But Bill Cookman has come to play. They've taken a 7 0 lead on Miami here in the next series. So Hurd kicks it off. And it'll be Duke Johnson from the six. Gets a block. Johnson is going to go the distance. Nobody even close. But there is a flag on the field at the 41 yard line. And this one could be coming back. But you know what? Wow. Are you kidding me? Watching somebody who could be a legend at Miami when it's all said and done. Well, it, you know, he's got such great vision. I mean, when he makes this cut right there, when he cut back, that was it. It was over, and nobody's going to catch that guy. Once he put it into overdrive, there was no chance. Jake Whiteclaw now on for the extra point. They're tied at seven. Duke Johnson with a 95-yard kick return for the touchdown. The seventh grade. I mean, he never even thought about going someplace else. You be the defender. Look at this cut right there. Oh, he put him right on the ground. I mean, he absolutely put the defender right on the ground. Wow. Of course, that was the place kicker. You don't expect him to be able to make the tackle. I don't feel him against that guy. That's for sure. White Claw to kick it off. Angelo Cabrera is back to receive it. And 
the Wildcats run into each other as Cabrera fielded it at the 11 year score. Wilson wants to throw it. Got a man out there, but leads him just a little bit too far. K.J. Stroud was the intended target. Yeah, and that was Tracy Howard, another true freshman, who the number three was... Second the down and ten. Rodney Scott is the running back. That's where they'll go with the football. Picks up two. He took a shot at the 19-yard line. Third down and eight. There's Perryman. Had a big interception return against Boston College in the first week as Rodney Scott... Picks up a couple tough yards back near the 40. Curious why after that kickoff return, it isn't Duke Johnson back there. I guess they want to be careful to not overuse the electric freshman as this takes a big time Bethune-Cookman bounce, and it's going to go all the way to the 23-yard line. So a nice punt by Kowalski. Rashawn Scott in motion. They pitch it to Johnson. Oh, face mask near the 20. As he's out of bounds at the 24, but there's no flag. It looked like Johnson had his helmet near ripped off. Second down and nine. Mike James takes the carry. The senior running back, but he looks great. Ashley Marcelon made the tackle, but not before James picked up first down yardage. Morris. Looking over the middle for Asante Cleveland. It falls incomplete. 24 seconds left to go in this first quarter. On second down. See what Johnson can do. Takes it across the 40. And well played by Dawood Lane, the senior linebacker from East Orange, New Jersey. And that could be the final play. Pictures tell the whole story after one quarter of play. Bethune Cookman capitalizing on a turnover. And for Miami, a Duke Johnson. Kickoff return. You get a look right there. Chantrell Henderson, the big offensive lineman. Yeah, he's really had some issues. 6'8, 340, but you know, car accident over the summer, and then a couple of deaths in his family up in Minnesota. He's only had eight practices. Back to throw. Morris. Over the middle, and that was Trump from the start. Well, punted away for the Hurricanes. High kick. And this is a good one. Near the sideline. And it's inside the five. They'll call it the line of scrimmage at the five-yard line. It's a very, very important skill. And if you don't have one, you're in trouble. New quarterback for Bethune-Cookman is Roderick Waters, number 11. Booker High School in Sarasota. He's a senior. Rodney Scott lines up right next to him. And here's Waters. He can run it. Robert Waters off to the races. Across the 40, down a five-yard game. Now first down. And it's Rodney Scott. Tough yards. 44. Waters getting the attention. Thank you. Waters wants to throw. I lose one tackle. Now let's see what he can do. Roderick Waters all the way to midfield. Close to first down yardage. That's a six-yard game, and it looks like it will move the chains. Wow. Uh, it took, a, took really a play that should have been a 10-yard loss and turned it into a six-yard game. Take a look at this athleticism right here. I mean, you got him. You got the perfect defense called. And somehow, Houdini-like, Waters gets out of it and gets a first down. It was not a first down, but that will be. Absolutely. And I tell you, you've got a very good veteran offensive coordinator in Jim Pry. He's yeah, been the offense. Rodney Scott is the running back. Robert Waters. Now back to throw. Looking right. And throws it. No receivers were there. Cages. Let's. Let's. It's coming. Waters unloads it. Oh, And if wow. Rodney Scott had squeezed that 
and turned up field. Doug, he had a lot of real estate. Kowalski has the kick away, and it takes a Bethune-Cookman bounce, rolling inside the 10 and down to the 7. Rugby kick, out of bounds. Nice job by Bethune-Cookman. Now Stephen Morris back to throw. And has his man at the 12-yard line. It's Philip Dorsett. He gets it up to the 15. It's a throw like that that's a touchdown. You know, it, it kind of affects you a little bit mentally. Second down. Running right up the gut. And up to the each other here in the first half. That's what Duke Johnson has done. An electric kickoff return in the first quarter. Here he is again, shaking the tackler. Well, he picks up one, but still very exciting. And I think he landed on that right shoulder right there as he went down, and that is not good. You know, this is really an eight-yard loss turned into a two-yard gain. He's he's really strong. He can give you the, uh, you know, the leg and take it away. Well, I don't know. I can't see anything right there. On the sideline, though. So now Mike James comes in for him. Morris slings it out. Philip Dorsett, and it's incomplete. Hit that 95 out of 100 times. Going to hit low throw. Five of 13 passing, 22 yards. Morris now running for his life. And hits his man, Malcolm Lewis, on the 20 yard line, and that should be. Courtney Keith back to receive this punt. Jake Whitelaw. Excellent punter. This is an NFL prospect as a punter right here is Botts. Yep, Dalton Botts rather on the punt. And both of these kickers for Miami, the punter and the place kicker, does here. Now back in the game of quarterback for the third cover. And he hands it to Isidore Jackson. And he's stripped up. In the backfield, big number 99, Jelani Hamilton. After the loss of two, second and 12. Wilson hands it off to Jackson, and he's not going to get much. And you look at this two quarterback. Right now they're feeling Wilson. From the shotgun on third down. Under pressure. Eludes a tackler once, but not twice. Big Tyreek McCord, the freshman defensive end from Tampa, made the sack again for Bethune. That's out of bounds at the 49-yard line, so great field position for the Hurricane. The talent on the field today. Mike James is the running back, and they give it to James. He pitches it back to Morris. Now they'll throw it downfield, and nobody in the vicinity. Frankly, he threw the post cut. The receiver ran to the corner of the end zone. Now second down. We'll give it to James. Mike James making a move. Picks up 11. Across the 40 to the 39. Yeah, and I think it's really important at this stage of the game to run the football if you're Miami. Uh, get your offensive line and rhythm. Take a look at the cut by James right there. One more time. Mike James. New and refreshed and running well all the way to the 30. Stop by 99, Harold Love. The pitch to Duke Johnson along the left side. And he's dragged down. Looked like it could have been another face mask. No penalty. Good to see Johnson back on the field. I think he got a little burner or stinger in his neck uh, that one play he went out. There's the play selection for the Hurricanes right now, right down the middle, 50-50. Morris down the seam and let his receiver just a little bit too high. Devon Johnson. Wow, there's a cheap shot on uh, the Duke on the sideline right there. Mike James on the carry. This will be third down and six. Look four, rather, for Morris. Stephen Morris hits the open man. Philip Dorsett. And he gets down to the two-yard line. Doug Gibbis Fields brought him down. Or else for the Hurricanes. First down and goal. Mike James. As the Hurricanes speed up that tempo, he's denied. 
And Lars Dantzler would not let him reach the goal line. They certainly are. There he is. Duke Johnson already with one touchdown. Let's see if he goes for another. He'll pitch it to him. Lee Block is there. He cuts it back and scores a touchdown. To get one on one. Got such a great feel for the game. Boom. Just like that. D.J. Howard had a shot at him one-on-one, -on -one, but you saw who won the battle. <laughs> Extra point is up and good by Jake Wyclaw. So Duke Johnson has scored both touchdowns for the Hurricanes. They lead with Bill Cookman, 14 set. Proud chant your name, but he's humble. He's a wonderful kid. He absolutely loves him. This is going to be Tyree Green on the return. All the way up to the 18 yard line. Dangerous situation here. Uh, kicking off the second time. The kickoff team is tired. They're winded. They just ran a 100 yard sprint. And here comes another. This one taken from the goal line. It's Jazz Moss on the return, and he pays for it dearly. The 57. Up to make that play, Tambu Akil Fentress. Well, it started with a great kick. Not the second the quarterback, quarterback, Robert Waters, in the game once again for the Wildcats, and he'll keep it himself. First play in the game last time out, he raced for a huge gainer, but that time, option again. Hitch, it's Rodney Scott. Miami defense starting to read much better. 44, Eddie Johnson, seven tackles. And of course, smart move by Mark D'Onofrio against this quarterback now. Your base defense is on the field. They do not have the nickel in the game. Play clock winding down. They get it off. Waters slings it out. It's caught by Preston Cleckley. Uh, he is going to be short. To receive this one. The first hands are going to likely come after it. Walski gets it away. And Great a beauty. Punt. Set drifting backwards. Is down. Well, this could be coming back, but still entertaining to watch. The sophomore. And now Duke Johnson is back into the game. Three minutes to go in this first half. Complete. Nice route and a good job coming back to make the catch. It was to learn Johnson. how to control it better. And those are his best throws, those in routes. First down, Morse making another play. Dumps it off to his big tight end, and I mean big, Dyron Dye. Of course, you know, and Morris missed all the spring football with a back surgery, so that certainly didn't help his uh, cause either. He's One through job in training field. Yep. Second down, back to throw. Screen set up, Mike James. Lots of room on that left side. He's all the way down to the 32-yard line. DJ Hunter, 22 pounds. I'm going to start calling him Thunder, and I'm going to call the other guy Lightning. <laughs> That's a 14-yard game. Morris, incomplete. Ron Johnson running near the sideline. There's the numbers on Stephen Morris. 81 yards through the air. This one's caught. It's on. Scott makes the move. All the way down to the 11. Well, speaking of what a catch by Scott. Take a look at this catch. Sales on him, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Boy, and I'll tell you what, that, that was a great, great block. Well, it's first down from the five. Morris with time. Now rolling to his right. And throws it near the goal line, incomplete. Oh boy, here early in the season. Second down. Option and the pitch. Luke Johnson made one move, got it to the three. Much formation at the top of the screen. Mike James is the running back. Morris throws it incomplete. Devon Johnson out there, and coach, you threw up your hands. Why? Well. Yard. Attempts. 
take White Claw. On the right hash. And the kick is up and good. But let's take a look at, at Morris right here and see if he, well, that was a nice job handling the snap, but just watch his hips and shoulders. You really, see, you, you really have to turn that right foot and get that those hips turned and shoulders turned to have a chance to make an accurate throw going to your left like that. And that was a the problem. There's the numbers for Morris today. And, you know, nothing against Bethune-Cookman, but when you play a school that is below your classification, you got to put up better numbers as a quarterback than that because once you get into ACC play, you're taking on the Florida State defense. Much different story. But, you know, give Bethune-Cookman credit. I mean, one. When uh, he had to kick from the 30-yard line and took it all the way down to the corner right at the uh, goal line. Chaz Moss back to receive it with Tyree Green. High kick taken by Green inside the 10. Tyree Green, one timeout left for Bethune-Cookman with 29 seconds to go. Would expect them to sit on the ball here. Jackie Wilson back in at quarterback. He takes it along the left side up to the 19-yard line. Take a lock I am. I mean, you know, that, you know, of course, I was always a little more conservative. But, you know, why? My question would be why. Why take a chance on fumbling the football? I would just take a knee and take it in. Here's Isidore Jackson. Nice run. And the helmet comes off. Just as we're talking about it, Coach, we see yep. it right before our eyes. Uh, so after one half a play, the Miami Hurricanes start slow, but Duke Johnson, impressive, and it's 17-7. Let's send it down on the field to Tiffany Green. Coach, your guys going into the locker room up 10, but penalties have really hurt you guys. How do you get you guys mentally focused back yeah, into the game? We beat ourselves with some penalties. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of pressure. They did. Tough, rugged group, Bethune is. They're going to keep coming after us. we just got to settle down. We've been beating ourselves all, all half. And Duke Johnson and Mike James, they've been working in the backfield, one-two punch. What do you have to do for your passing tack to catch up? Well, again, number one, if we could stay on if we could stay on uh, on schedule and not get behind, we can get those guys a little bit more runs, set up some play action and some keeper game. We got the keeper game going a little bit there at the end. We got to, we're, we're, The ball's sailing on us a little bit. We just got to settle down and make some catches. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Back up to you guys. All right. Miami with a 10-point lead here in this home opener at Sun Life Stadium. When we come back, our halftime show. You're watching ACC football on ESPN. 